hey, hello, welcome, I have a cup of tea and I'm gonna try not to spill it while I answer some questions. Why do I have that voice on? I don't know. Oh, cup of tea, good. So, I was tagged by a cup of books. A cup of books, yes, that's one. Emma from A Cup of Books tagged me to do the book acquiring tag. I think that's the name of it. And I do believe the creator of the tag was Enter the Books. Enter the Book? I, I, I'm not sure. So it will be down below. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's uh, go to, into the questions, uh, shall we? I have them here on my little screen. Let's see if I can see them. Um, because sometimes I'm a bit blind. <laughs> so, number one, do you plan your book purchases ahead or impulse buy? And uh, my answer is a bit of both. So, I generally have like an idea of what books I want to get, but then if I'm in store and there's usually like tables with like, um, buy one get one half price or other form of discounted books uh, or just buy me I'm pretty um yes the books do yell that at me when I go in bookstores that's usually how it goes but I generally have an idea what books I want and then there may be one or two or five impulse buys it, uh, honestly, it depends on the cash flow. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, so usually mostly planned out, but also impulse. Can't, I, I, yeah, that happens, happens a lot. I'm very red in my face. I'm very hot. Oh dear. Okay, number two. How did you decide what books to buy? Uh, good question. <laughs> uh, I go for the cheapest ones first. Um, <laughs> yeah, usually how I do it. I usually go for the cheapest ones so I can get as many as possible for the same amount. Um, but <laughs> picking which books and then seeing which one is cheaper. Um, so I'm heavily influenced by... Uh, booktube and bookstagram let's say youtube and instagram um i'm heavily heavily influenced by what other people are reading from there and then um, i guess if i go on the like new to come or like special and signed editions yeah those are the places they get me um if i see something there that goes like oh this looks like a pretty cover or interesting title yes this is how i buy books i don't know about from um yeah before <laughs> or if there's like an author uh that has new books out that i know of that i know and love um that's that's how i pick a book i hope that answers that one number Three, what is your philosophy on where to shop? Online versus in person, large versus small, physical, digital, or audio, new versus used, etc. Et um, online versus in person, I prefer in person, but uh, <laughs> I don't really have a good bookshop close to me. So my favorite bookshop of all time is Waterstones Piccadilly and I don't live anywhere nearby. <laughs> um, I try to go there like once or twice a year and I will buy lots of books when I go. Um, but for the most part, I guess I get them online and mostly I do um, pre-orders and then it's online. Um, and so I will do pre-orders and they will arrive at my house. And um, I'll usually do is mostly via Waterstones, so um, there's that. And um, the only really time I buy from like Amazon and stuff is uh, if that's the only place I can get said book. Um, mostly, I I buy from Waterstones. I like them points. 
they get me free books. That's usually how I buy. Um, I mean, if there were good bookshops around me, I would go to them. Um, but um, the bookshops that are around me are like twice or thrice the price of Waterstones. So, uh, no can do. <laughs> and no, no. <laughs> No. Um, so online is usually how I go. Um, if I want a very a book very quickly, uh, yes, Amazon, because usually next day delivery, and I do like that speedy delivery. But most of the time, I usually try to plan out uh, to get whichever books I want in person, and if I can't, I will look online. And um, I guess large versus small is like big companies, smaller companies. So I guess Waterstones is a big chain, so mm, I would buy from smaller retailers and stuff, but there aren't many close by, and I would prefer to do in that in person rather than online. I don't really like ordering books online because uh, they, they tend to come damaged. A lot of the time they come damaged, and I'm not a fan of that. No. <laughs> um, as far as physical, digital, or audio, I only read physical. Um, the only time I really read digital is if there's like a novella in a series or a short story by an author I love and I desperately need to read that. I will because um, digital doesn't really work with my eyes. I can't read for a very long time and um, yeah, that, that kind of, if I want to make like a good review of a book or something uh, I try not to do the digital one because that would mostly knock down like two or three stars at least so yeah try not to do that uh, <laughs> also uh, and I don't really listen to audio I will uh, every now and again if I want to like figure out a pronunciation or if I just, if like, I am, uh, what's the one? I'm uh, the fourth wing. So I read that one physically and then <laughs> I was very interested in about certain parts. So I was like, I'm gonna check out the audiobook as well because it was available, so why not? And I did, and I ended up listening to the whole thing. Um, it was very quick listen. Um, so there's that, but I did read the physical one before, so I, I kind of read and listened to the same book very quickly. Anyway, <laughs> um, new versus you. So I prefer new. Um, if I can't get any new and I desperately need it, I will look for used books. I only, it's the thing, I'm not fond of people's old stuff. <laughs> I, it's a thing in the back of my head. I I have a problem with it. Um, I like the fact. I well, I like the the idea of buying any form of book as long as it's in good quality. Um, but I I don't trust other people with things. It's a problem I have. Yeah. So there's that. This is kind of the same reason I don't really go to the library because uh, most people are kind of disgusting. I'm sorry if that offends you, but it's true. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've, I've encountered a lot of dodgy books, okay? It's, it's stuck with me. It's, 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 it's stuck with me. I'm not, yeah, it's stuck with me. Question number four, what about little free libraries? What do you think about them? Have you used one? Why or why not? So, uh, I, love, I love the idea of it, especially uh, considering I could just go put books I didn't really want in them. Um, but I've never used one, mainly because there are none of them around me. Um, I would love to like visit some, just have like a little tour of them, but there are none around me. I have no idea where the closest one is. Uh, probably not in this country. So there's that. There's that. Well, the I I I want to assume there is at least one, but also. I don't think there are. Anyway, I love the idea. Haven't used one because there are none around me. 
um, but I do love the idea of it. Question number five. How do you feel after acquiring a book? Do you share like in a book haul or diary? Um, a bit of both. So, let's see, where is it? So, I like doing book hauls because um, it kind of also... One, I can show other people books they may not have seen and that's kind of how I view other people's book hauls as well. I kind of look for new books. That's how I see them. Um, also, I can keep myself accountable for if I read said books or not. Uh, also, I have this little thingy. Um, let's see if I can find the page. So, uh, I write down all the books I buy. So, I have like book all and then I write all the books down and if I uh, like colored in uh, it means I've read them this year um, so there's that um, it's kind of a way for me to keep track of what books I have and also keep myself accountable for them because um, Th there's one thing about buying all the books. Yes, I do love buying the books, but I also want to read the books. I don't just want to have a thousand unread books. That would defeat the point, for me at least. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Question number six. How do you feel looking at your books that haven't been read? Does it matter if it's currently a lot or a little amount um i don't really feel any way about them uh, <laughs> i don't know i mean um so i'm weird in the sense that all the books that are on my shelf are my red books and um it's currently right over here this is my book cart i do have a couple of more books that won't fit on it um that are also like on red books um but it doesn't bother me that they don't fit on the car i would live like love that life <laughs> i would love it to have just a book cart with the unread books and then not like a hundred other places because uh, mostly because um I will just put books everywhere and then I will have no concept of anything anymore and it will make my brain go fuzzy and stuff. Um, not that I don't have a problem with having books everywhere. I love having books everywhere, but I do like a certain order of them. That's why it's only read books on my shelf. No unread books are on here. <laughs> it's just how I work. Yes. It's also a way for me to keep track of which books I've read and not read without having to, like, think about it. There's that. And no, I don't care if it's a lot. I mean, I could very easily go get an, another book cut like this and have that one as well. Um, it's just a amount of space. Base. And also, if I did grab another one, uh, I would have three carts like this. And uh, yes, cats would take over more space. So, there's that. But yeah, I don't care about the amount, um, really. But ideally, I would just love the one book cart. Um, mainly because I live in a small flat. And uh, there, there's not a lot of room everywhere. And I would rather have just bookshelves <laughs> full of books I've read than, you know, books I haven't read lying around. Does that make sense? I'm just waffling now. Question number seven. How do you decide when number of unread books is the right amount? Um, I don't really have a right amount there. I mean, I don't want to have a thousand unread books. Um, but I do, I think I have like a hundred and... 30-ish unread books, something around those lines. Uh, that number doesn't seem to be going down because I buy more books and um, even though I read books, I add ones on <laughs> maths. Um, but no, I don't really have a, a, like, a goal amount of books that I would like to have unread. 
Um, but no, I, I don't want a thousand on red books, but I'm okay with what I have. Yeah. <laughs> Question number eight. Do you have a TBR game or process for reading them? Uh, so I've tried a TBR game. I had a little spinny wheel I've tried, which was quite fun, honestly. Um, the uh, um, process of writing all the names in was a lot. And when that browser closed and all the names disappeared. I did not want to restart that because it took a while to write everything in uh, and then I didn't even write everything in. I just wrote a lot in. It was a lot. <laughs> um, I tried that. I've tried like picking certain books. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of a TBR game or prompts and stuff. I just don't seem to be able to stick to them. Um, so what I've been doing lately is just, I mood read. Uh, I just pick up whatever book and read that until I don't want to read it anymore and pick up the next book. Seems to be going fine. Um, but yeah, I, I would like some form of TBR game or um, prompts and stuff for reading challenges. I I just do very badly with them and I'm quite competitive in that I want to accomplish it um, and I mean it's not the end of the world if you don't accomplish the TBR or reading challenges and stuff um, I, I'm just very competitive and I want to I want to come accomplish it complete it complete it mate question number nine do you have a book buying problem yes <laughs> if so, what is the nature of it and can it be adjusted? Well, currently uh, I'm having no more new money. <laughs> currently I'm very broke because uh, jobless. I'm in between projects. Is that how you say it without meaning sounding fancy-ish? I don't know. Um, so I guess that will hinder my book buying for now. Um, I don't know. It's not like I buy a massive amount of, I mean, I do for like the normal person, but for the amount I read, I feel like I kind of, I, I kind of read what I buy. So it doesn't feel that bad. But if books were cheaper, I would buy more. I would just buy more. <laughs> Um, yeah. Um, so the, the tenth prompt, as it were, it's not really a question, it's prompt, is to tag people. So I'm gonna have a little moochie around and I'm gonna turn the, do another clip for this because, um, camera is about to turn itself off. I love that for me. I'm so freaking red in my face. I'm also very, very hot. That's not great. Anyway, so I don't know who's actually done this tag. I am way too lazy to actually go on all the channels and check it out. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention a bunch of people, and definitely don't feel like you need to do this tag if you don't want to. I just want to kind of uh, spread the word uh, about other people to watch, other channels to go see. So if I mention you. Don't feel you need to do it, especially if you have already done it. Uh, and if you have already done it, yay. Um, <laughs> um, but I will like mention a bunch of people that everyone should check out. So let's go through here and see what we come up with. I'm literally just going on my subscription page here. So what we have, what we have. Okay, why is it showing me things that aren't booktube anymore? Mm. Frank Fiction. I know your name is Alex, but I always kind of want to call you Frank. I'm sorry. Ex Libris Kari. Bookishly Nerdy. Rose Lillian Reads. Lotus Nook. Diana and the Book Hunt, Reading This Life, Towering TBR, Jack and the Book Stack, The Book Baron, and now it started a video. Um, so all the people I mentioned, I 
watch and love all of these channels so you should definitely check them out if you haven't already um and everybody don't feel the need to actually do the tag i just want to share some other channels for people to go have our little browsy brows um <laughs> so there's that um but yeah thank you so much for watching um yeah until next time take care bye, -bye.